Welcome to yeah, you got welcome to another exciting show with Phil Margo, the Lion Roars. This is Malcolm Berman, who tried to elicit all these emotions and uh, words yeah, for Mr. Uh, Margo. Anyway, hey Phil, how you doing? I'm okay. I'm, I'm, I'm you know, it's going to take me a long time, and it's going to take this country a long time to get back to any semblance of normal. People unfortunately don't understand what this man did to this nation and what we don't even know yet that he did to this nation of all the stuff he done, did under the table, like his conversations with Putin and Erdogan and all of those people and all of those things that he did. Well, I don't know. Well, when when Biden president, becomes president, will he have privy to those conversations or are they locked away? I don't think we'll ever have privy. I think I think they're going to destroy any before they get out. They're going to destroy every single shred of of anything that leads to them to to their criminality. The only things they can't destroy are the things that SDNY and and the state and the Attorney General of of New York has. And you know and what a and you know I think my personal belief is that he will. He will commit crimes of espionage because he he's the president. He's privy to all that information. He could go to Putin and say, look, I want you to forget. Give me all my money. Give me a, tw a trillion dollars, whatever it is, and I'll give you every secret the United States has. He right, could do I that. He would do that. I don't put it past him. He's not a patriot. He's not an American. He's a Trump. And that's all he cares about. So I don't think... I think that he will give away state secrets. He will sell state secrets. He will give state secrets in return for them getting off his case with the money he owes. He will do that. He's not past that. Is, is there a way of changing codes or? No, they uh, have to. If he does it, they can arrest him for espionage. Once he's out of office, he doesn't have, have the protection of the immunity that that phony memo that baloney, phony memo at the at the Justice Department, which was written by some schmears and should never have existed. Because if this country really is no one's above the law, then there should be no memos that say the president is above the law. Okay. It's, a, it's, it's, a, it's it, 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 it makes no sense. No one's above the law, not even the president. So all this time when the president couldn't be ind indicted, or, or arrested or even investigated is baloney. It's baloney, that's not this nation. And look at the result of it. We had to keep a man in office that continually is destroying everything about our country. Well, now, I mean, now that that people, people realize what the fuck is going on. I don't think, that, I think those 70 million or 71 million of people who voted for him, I bet you a lot of them voted because it's the R. And they and they press the R on the uh, push the R whatever it is colored in the R because it's a Republican. Well, do you I think it? Do you think, think it's seventy one million people, or did Trump uh, uh, increase increase the amount by uh, by sending in the uh, the uh, uh, vote by mail thing? And he's the one that really did it. Well, with I, the don't I, I don't know. I I don't know. I will put nothing past him. And when he had one group saying stop the vote and the other group saying keep voting, you know, keep counting the vote in two different states where his, the situation, you know, you know, redounded to him when it stopped the votes and it stopped counting the votes in, in, in uh, Pennsylvania because the votes were just, you know, still the votes in Pennsylvania are still coming into him. He's liable to wind up with 100,000 votes uh, above Trump. And Arizona's closer. He, he has about 17,000 votes in Georgia. <clears throat> and I think he could actually win Georgia. Yeah, the, the two close votes are uh, Georgia and uh, Wisconsin. Um, no, Georgia and Arizona. Uh, oh, there's a recount in, in, in Mich Michigan, I think. But I mean, but the recounts, it's, they're all, whatever's recounted, when you have that many, you know, thousands of votes instead of hundreds of votes, the recount doesn't have a, historically, it'll only yield you a few hundred votes. 
Right. Well, the, the, well, the question is, uh, what she wants us to believe is that a lot of the uh, mail-in votes are phony or from dead people or from uh, people who don't, or especially in, in Nevada. Who she wants is, who is she the, that wants? No, 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 not she, he. Oh, I say she. Oh, oh. But we know, look, all of the, every single person, all of the people who are in charge of it in each state, Republicans and Democrats alike, Republican states, you know, secretaries of state of, of various states and Democrats said there was no fraud I mean, they got one guy who worked with the post office guy and he signed an affidavit that said there were ballots, to, that, that there were ballots that were not legal. But then he recanted and said, no, I said it only because the Republicans wanted me to. Yeah, you but th th then he recanted that also. I was listening to the uh, news this morning. Yes, he said, then they got him and he said. That's all they found. It, no, they no. I, I supposedly he said this morning, he said, oh, no, they forced me to rec uh, recount. Right, the, right. Uh, That's what you said. But they didn't find anything, any vote of fraud of any, you know, uh, 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 one vote here and two votes there. Come on. We're talking about hundreds of thousands of votes. He's going to win up Pennsylvania by 100,000 votes. They're going to try, to try to get rid of those. Yeah, well, no. again, according to him, it's, uh, it's uh, the, the, uh, the mail in ballots are all fraudulent. It, right. They all came in. They were carted in by somebody else. They carted in at night. But he and his head, his henchmen vote by mail. And they, uh, but, but what he's doing, he's casting a doubt. Not, not, he's not, not casting a doubt. Not one Democrat believes that he won. No, he's, he's not won. casting. He's not casting a doubt to the people who voted, who voted for. Uh, Biden, or for the or for most of the people, he's casting a doubt about the the faithful uh, uh, Trumpites who say, "Oh yeah, he couldn't lose. He won because it was uh, fixed." Uh, like what he said, "If I lose the election, it's because it's fixed." He said that before the election. I don't, I can't listen to that shit anymore. It's nonsense. It was always nonsense. And you know what? The election that was fixed was the when he got elected in the first place. Right was when they kept open, they opened up the Benghazi case 13 times. Then they talked about the email a thousand times and neither one of them amounted to nothing. It was just a Republican party essentially fixing the election and knowing Russia was involved and letting that happen too. That was the truth. That race was fixed for Trump to win. And he did by that much, but now that much is not enough. So, you know, the, the, the question I mean, is how anything that you tell me about Trump, anything that anyone could tell me about Trump now, I would believe. Mm -hmm. I would how, believe that I would believe that he would kill somebody. How do we he get let, him? He let 250,000, well, let's say 100, 200,000 people die because he didn't do his job. That's called negligent homicide. I'm sorry. People well, died because he didn't do his job. Well, this is getting more and more frightening because it's almost I don't want to listen to the news. I mean, the, the way that uh, the virus is spreading. Right. He let that happen. That's on him. That's the, all on him. But the question is, how do we get him out? Let me how you, you pull this. You, I mean, he, he's, he's, he's denying at he lost. 12 noon, at 12 noon on January 20th, 2021, if he's not out of the White House, he will be brought out of the White House physically by by the Secret Service probably who served him or by or by the, some entity of government or by the FBI. Well, well, he the secret, will be taken out of the White House. The Secret Service doesn't serve the president, they serve the Constitution. That's uh, and the army. But the question whatever it is, he will be taken out of the White House. I don't care if he, they have to put an orange suit on him, he'll be taken out of the White House. But, but, when, but when does he have to turn the papers over uh, to uh, the president-elect? He's supposed to do it now. I know, that's what they, they uh, I, I know he's supposed to, but he obviously he's not. When can they force that? Before, before the official... Uh, well, when the official, when he officially is... The yeah. Can, can they that do that? Happened. You know, they're saying they're waiting till the official notice. But even if they get that, you know, he, he could also go to court and get it too. I think that he, could, he has a case. 
that Biden has a case, can get it in court if he wants. But he, but look, A, Biden knows that stuff. He worked there for eight years. He worked in the Senate for eight years. He worked in the Capitol. He knows all the people who have all those secrets. He's gotten all those documents. Yeah. He knows mostly what's going on. It's not, and same thing with, with, with Kamala. Kamala was a senator. She know they know what's going on, and, and as far as they're concerned, they they have they he has he 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 planned for this to happen because he collected seven million or t- seven million dollars for this very purpose of doing the transition because he knew they would do that. He was on to them. He knew what they would do, and and that's why he has all these lists of people. You think he did it just over the weekend when he was told he won? He's been working on this thing for months. Because he's a man, is a man who has wants to be prepared. You know, you prepare for everything, and he has. And look, he, all of a sudden, he had this meeting. He, he gets, he gets, he gets. Uh, the election gets called on Saturday morning, and Monday he's already meeting with half of the epidemiologists in the country that are worth talking. I, I mean, Biden. Biden is yes, and yeah. and and, he, and, he, and he's got a list, list, and as you go on his website, he has a list of all the people he wants to get involved with and do, and he's talking to all, excuse me, the best people, which the best people that Trump got are all criminals, you know, Betsy DeVos, Steve Mnuchin. Pompeo, who said yesterday, uh, yeah, it'll be a smooth transition in, in the second for the second Trump right administration. How could the Secretary of State of the United States of America say something like that? And, and I, I, he might have been tongue in cheek, but I don't think he was uh, joking. And he could stick his tongue up his ass because he's not funny. That's not funny. They're saying, you know, it's like if, if, if Biden said, well, shit, maybe Trump will die before the end of the seven day, 70 days, you know? What if he Trump's, what if, I mean, what if Biden said that? Well, uh, President elect Biden, what if uh, Trump um, doesn't want to give you any information or let you go to, to the different departments and get the uh, the uh, the uh, secret stuff and all yeah. of that stuff? So and what if Biden said, well, hopefully he'll die before then. Yeah. If he said that, you know, it wouldn't be fun. You know, it's not funny. You don't do that. Yeah. And here we have these, these uh, you know, but, but, but I tell you Republicans what I'm are dicks. Any person who's a Republican now who allows his party or her party to act this way against the Constitution, against America, this is not a, an ideological thing, whether, you know, whether there's, there's, there's abortion allowed or whether the ACA survives or, or whether we do something about climate change, all of those issues which are urgent, it's a simple matter of empathy and decency. And, you know, you say people are saying, "Well, you have to, you have to get along with them." Yes, but how do you get along with someone that has no empathy? How do you do that? Well, well, well the, the whole thing is with with uh, you know, he, he's hitting at the core of our democracy. Our democracy is free, free elections. Is the elections that uh, you know uh, every four years we have the presidential elections, and it's supposed to be a peaceful transfer of power. And he's not doing that. He's making us look like a third world nation. Like now the Republicans are saying, oh, Jimmy Carter should have, uh, you know, uh, overseen the, uh, the elections like he does in foreign countries. So they're making it seems like this was uh, no, yeah. you know what? You know, a fraudulent election. You know what? They're acting like, uh, Sally, did you do your homework? Well, no, because the dog ate it. That's what they're doing. The do- this is the dog ate my homework. This is an elephant stepped on my toy. Yeah, you're, well, getting making... you're getting ch- excuses that are children that are ch- childish excuses. Childish. Well, we there's fraud. Okay, where is it? Show us. Is there fraud? Something. Let me show me one of it. Well, there's fraud. There's fraud. Oh, uh, oh, the emails were the emails. The emails. Oh, show me. Where? Where? Show me. And they there was nothing. They had 13 investigations and they found nothing. Nothing, nothing. Well, they haven't, like, uh, uh, and now they haven't, uh, they're saying, well, this is for the, the, uh, the there, there were a lot of ballots of people who are dead or uh, people who didn't live, this is Nevada, people who didn't live in Nevada, but they haven't shown any proof of anything. But they haven't, so far- oh shit, when are you going to get, what are you going to understand that they're lying? Everything that, co- the man 
it was it was documented that Trump told well over twenty thousand identifiable lies while he was in, before he was office and while while he was in office, and that you just see. He just stood up there and lied. And he was, well, somebody told me. I heard people say, uh, and it was all lies. None of it was true. So why would you expect him to tell the truth now? Well, uh, he doesn't uh, know what the truth is. Well, I, I, I have to tell you, even the commentators. Uh, now, would all you Republican folks out there like it if your children lied to you all the time? Would you like them to be like Trump, like the man that you, uh, that you adore, that he lies to people, that he's a misogynist, that he hates women? that he hates anybody that's not white. I even think he hates himself. I think the person that Trump hates most is Trump. You have to, you have to talk and he to, has every reason to. You have to talk to his uh, psychiatrist about that one. Mary, Mary Trump made it pretty clear. Yeah. You know, this is not distance, this is not distance stuff. This is, she's his niece. And she watched him grow when she was growing up and she saw all his tricks. She saw it. I mean, yeah, I keep, keep, but but he's making us look so bad for the rest of the world. I think Biden well, no, said the best. Part. He's an embarrassment. Yes, but you know what? As soon as Biden takes the White House over, it'll change just like that. We'll be in the Paris Accord. We'll fix up the shit with Iran. We'll do all the things. He'll get rid of all those stupid fucking executive orders, which are just mean, right. mean. And it, doesn't, and it looks like the Supreme Court doesn't intend to get rid of Obamacare, well, which should uh, really make them jump off the bridge. Ho ho hopefully, but uh, again, there's so many surprises in life. I don't, until that decision yes. comes in, but I'm holding my but breath. When the, but when the Chief Justice and, and Brett Kavanaugh and Alito all say, well, why just not take that part out of it and leave the rest? I mean, they, they, you don't say something like that as a con or a setup. You know, it's he said it's not our job. Yes, well, so you think it'll be five four, the decision to keep it. What? Yes. You think it'll be five four. I think it'd even be more than better than five four. I, I have a feeling that we might be surprised by Amy. By Amy Coney Barrett. What the hell happened here? What what I happened? Lost. I see. I, I see you fine. I lost you. You lost me? Yeah. Can you hear me? I hear you, but... Okay, don't worry about it. I see you, so I think we should be recording. Okay. Um, I don't know what happened here. What is going on? You didn't touch anything? My, 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 pic, my picture is perfect. I can't find where... No, I lost you completely. Can you hear me? I hear you, but okay. This forget about the picture. It either pops on or it doesn't. Wait, but let me I, see if I can. But yeah, you're gonna cut us off. No, oh, I see. You got me again, no? Oh my Jesus! What are you hitting? I can't get you. I don't know what happened. Okay, well, you don't have to see me as long as I see you. I think at, at the end. Another 15 minutes, I'll find out whether I have a show or not. Or we'll just I do the first. I don't, know I don't know what I hit. Okay. Oh, stop, stop hitting. Oh, I just can't stand this. Well, just continue. Okay, anyway. Make, make believe it's old fashioned radio. Okay, so, so, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm saying Barrett might uh, also. Uh, she might turn out. No, good. I don't know. I don't think that. I think that the Supreme Court is likely to try to get rid of Roe versus Wade. I think they probably will keep the um, the ACA, which is nice. But I think the major thing now is getting. Um, getting those two senators elected in Georgia. Oh, oh that would be uh, amazing. Or at least at least one. If not no, both, no. at least one. one. One wouldn't do it. You need both. No, no, one would do it if we could turn one liberal Republican over. But you'll still have to deal 
But if you you know, can... you'd have to deal with McConnell. It wouldn't get rid of McConnell. The only way you get rid that's of McConnell true. is you get 50-50. 50-50, that's true. you vote for a new, a new uh, you know, House, Senate, whatever he is, Senate Majority Leader. Senate Majority Leader. And, and, and it's 50-50, and then um, uh, Kamala makes the deciding vote. Yeah. But, but, the, mean, but, the, the, but the Republican Party can vote him out, can't they? I mean, 49-51, if they get one one senator to, to make sense or something, I still don't know if, if, if that would make, make um, McConnell put up any things that, you know, that need to be put up for a vote. See, if the things that McConnell is keeping on his desk that the Democrats have given him, the, the, the uh, you know, the bills they passed are all sitting there because McConnell won't let them be really voted on. Because yeah, he, he knows if they voted on, they would win. He wouldn't bring it to the floor. So he won't bring it to the floor. So in, in other words, if, if, if they get the votes, he could just uh, table all legislation and say, okay, come back in four years when we have a, That's right. another well, come president. Back in three. But no, it would be, might, it might wind up that, um, well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I, you know, I, don't, I don't know what people are going to do anymore. I just hope we can pull out this one in Georgia. I hope, I hope that, that, that Stacey Abrams, I hope Biden goes down there and, and, and Obama goes down there and, and Kamala Harris goes down there to help these two guys get elected. Well, there's def definitely going to be the big push and, and uh, millions, if not billions of dollars are going to be spent there. Yeah. Yes, because it, it's, it's, it, it's, it, it's, it has to do with the very, the very soul of what's going on. Right. So... I think that uh, it's a, it's a, right now it's the main priority. I mean, this race is over. I think he's liable. I I I, I don't know what's going to happen with Arizona yet, but and I think Georgia he keeps getting more and more votes, and Pennsylvania he's close to fifty thousand already. You know, fifty thousand. Yeah, as, as, as long as he keeps Pennsylvania, it doesn't make a difference what the other states do. If he keeps Pennsylvania, right. it's two seventy. Right. Exactly, but he will get more than that. Oh, definitely. I think, I think there's a very good chance he'll win Georgia, and I think, and I, and I, and I don't know where 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 Arizona stands, but some of the networks already gave him Arizona. Mm. But uh, I'm so they, I'm not becoming more and more worried about what he's doing, like with. Uh, oh, of course. Uh, firing the, the firing the Secretary of Defense. Yeah. And putting in his own Christopher Miller is a, a flunky. And the, I think two or three other flunkies from the Pentagon. Yeah, but you I see, what's he planning for? Yeah, but you know what? The generals make the decisions. Ultimately, if the if the if the if the Secretary of Defense gives them an order that they feel is not reasonable and maybe illegal, they don't have to obey it. They could say, no, sorry. And they don't have to obey it. And they don't have to send the troops. Of course, the Secretary of Defense can't send troops anywhere. You know what I mean? Yeah, or, the well, he wants, the thing is, he might want to withdraw troops. Might want to what? Withdraw the troops. From, from uh, you want, because we, we have no we, business being in foreign wars. Because that's what okay. Keeps, so if he does, keeps on telling. Yeah, I mean, yes, he could do that probably. No, he doesn't know. I mean, he doesn't have to. They don't have to listen. If an order is is deemed as as illegal or incorrect, they don't have to listen. But he, but he could. Can he fire the general and find a general that will listen to him? Yes, they probably he probably could. I mean, he couldn't care less at this point. He just wants people to say yes. Well, we'll have to see. It's day to day. Is that, how many days? How many days now? Seventy. Seventy days. Let's see. Today's the eleventh. Yeah. So you got. It is November. So there's thirty days. So there's. Eighteen days. Nineteen days in. Okay. It doesn't make a difference. Days in, in November. 31 days in December. 
1931 is what? 50. 50. And 20 days in uh, 70, January. Yeah. 70 days. Yep. That's, that's the movie. See, I would, I would do a movie now based on these next 70 days. Yeah, this it, could, could be the most important 70 days in the history of our country. What well, happens? Yeah, do you think anybody will launch atomic missiles in these 70 days? You think he'll, he'll want to press the button and attack like Los Angeles? Yeah. But, but I, I just realized that why uh, the U, uh, United Arab Republic uh, did that peace thing with Israel. What it was for, for $100 billion worth of uh, armament that we sold to him then? Yeah. That's why they did the peace thing with Israel sign the agreement because they, they they always had a peace thing with Israel it just wasn't signed but there was really no conflict between them right so now and now Trump got the contract and they now he got the uh, agreement between them but they agreed because he's uh, giving them warplanes and armaments Trump and is giving them warplanes he's selling them the uh, United Arab, Arab Emirates UAE to I fight who the UAE is getting from the U.S. I think they're they're buying. I forget but how much they, it was. Who are they going to fight? Who are they going to fight? You mean for defense? I don't know. It's supposedly for defense, but they probably they say because then they can fight Iran because they're the enemies. Well, I think that I think that that's going to be. I think that that's going to change. I don't, I think I don't know. But now, now the important thing, as an old Brooklyn Dodger fan, and I see you wearing the hat. Yes. You, I and I know you're an Angelino, but does it, yes. give, it, does it give you the same satisfaction when Los Angeles won the World Series uh, this year as when the Brooklyn Dodgers won the World Series in 1955? Do you remember back then? I, I remember, I remember it so clearly. I remember Yogi Berra hitting that outside pitch to left field. And Sandy, Sandy Amaros, who was very speedy and had the glove on his right hand because he was a lefty, was able to get over and snag that fly ball. Yeah. Saved the World Series for the Dodgers. I remember it exactly. And no, this one didn't give me the same joy because that Brooklyn Dodger World Series was their first. And I had been a, I had suffered with the Dodgers since 1948. Wait until next year. Yeah. Is that your wife? And, uh, since 1948, and, and it was wait till next year, until 1955. Yeah. And they almost had it one of those years, too. They were yeah. back close and they lost it. And, and look what they did they moved. In what, 57 or 58? Right. And they 56. won the World Series in Los Angeles they, in 59. They, they were in the World Series in 56, I think. Yeah. Again. That's when Darren Lawson pitched his no hitter. And they lost. A perfect game. And they moved in 57. And they won a World Series in 59. Well, I don't remember. Is that when they won their first? I think so. I think 59 or 60, but it was like a year or two after they left Brooklyn. Brooklyn had, it took them had, 50 damn years. They had, like Koufax and Drysdale at that point. Yeah, well, Koufax still was. Koufax wasn't the uh, the pitcher that he was when he came to Los Angeles. He was still a wild kid. Well, he, he had the fastball, but he didn't have control. Yes, he used to hit the he used to hit the mm -hmm. fence. I remember. And, and then they had this guy uh, Carl Spooner, who also was. Uh, at a hundred mile an hour fastball. You remember Carl Spooner? Yes, I do. Yeah. Oh, and he, didn't, talk... he didn't last long though. Yeah, I, I mean, a sad thing, uh, which I heard this morning that uh, uh, Tommy Havlicek died. Oh. Tom Havlicek. From the Boston. Yeah. The Celtics. Oh. Yeah. Oh, excuse me, to Tommy Heinsohn. I knew there was something wrong, Tommy Heinsohn. Tommy Heinsohn. Heinsohn, I think he was 86. He was the, he was the, wasn't he the coach? He was the coach also. 
but, but he won the infamy in Los Angeles when he, uh, Kurt, uh, during a playoff, Kurt Rambis uh, came up to do a layup and he sort of like tomahawked him, almost took off his head. I don't know if you remember that play. And, 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 Heinz, and Heinzen said every time he walked into the forum, as soon as he walked down and sat down, he said, everybody would turn their head and boo him. <laughs> For years yeah, afterwards. Yeah, I guess, you know, when you see good sportsmanship, it really is, it really is a symbolic, you know, when you see, when you see guys congratulate the guys from the other team after a series or a championship is won. It's the kind of example that this country needs to see more because we're not kind to each other anymore. Well, the, as, I mean, the, kindness has kind of gone out of the mix. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not talking about these, these guys in, in trucks with guns trying to get everybody upset. I'm talking about simple kindness. Yeah, well, well, the, the problem is everybody, one side makes, put, puts a, a, a big brush on all liberals. The other side puts a big brush on the right wing. And it's not most, most of the people in the center, no matter which way you've actually, no matter which way you voted are fairly decent. It's that fringe element, but the fringe element is a thing that all the news focuses. Anyway, our yeah, half hour is up. Okay, well, liberals just want people to get a good education. They want the, 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 the climate to be, the, the, the world to be clean and pure. Mm. They want, uh, they want everybody to take, take, be taken care of health-wise. Why are those things wrong? Yeah, well, it, it, it's how you get there. But anyway, Phil, that could be a whole new show next week. But we're off. Hi, everybody. Oh. Thank you for watching. Uh, okay, I'm sorry you to you, but I'll see you. But, but by the way, you, 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 can't, you still can't see me? No. Okay, well, I hope the show goes on. Anyway, uh, have but a good week. I'll let you know. Have a good week. Ta-ta. Yeah.